Oh well. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video. In this one, we are going to review the trades that we did. Um, this is June 18. Review some of the trades, and um, again, it wasn't a good day, as you can see here. A ton of red across the board, and I just, I mean, it looks like I was actually revenge trading because I kept trying to, um, you know, push the envelope, see if I could uh, make some profit, and all that I did is just push me in the hole. I couldn't stop trading when I made some profit off of AMC, but I thought, oh, but this is not you know how i want to end my day i want to see uh if i can make some 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 more profit so i stayed in the trade um and this is what happened just i mean some of this happened after hours because i mean again i i kept thinking i can make some some good money off of after hours but got burned today again trading after hours is very very um risky and i mean if you don't know what you're doing i'll just say do not even touch it um so yeah let's jump right in and kind of take a look here but before we get started guys if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth if you have something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content you know like i said it wasn't a good day it wasn't my best day of trading um, for some reason, I just wasn't in the mood. Um, so it looks like I'm still on vacation. So I need to get my head back in the game uh, here sooner than later. So let's jump right in here and take a look. So uh, first one on there was AMC. Um, so this is something that um, I don't think I've talked about a lot here. If you look at AMC, AMC, the stock here is a $50 and above. So if you want to buy, let's say, um, 100 shares of AMC, if you take 100 times 60, it took about six grand. So you're putting six grand up front. But uh, what I'll do is um, instead of buying 100 shares, I don't want to risk six grand, I would buy uh, a call option for AMC. If I anticipate that the price is going to go up, I'll buy a call option for AMC, which might cost me somewhere between uh, 500 and 600 bucks for 100 shares because each contract is 100 shares. So that's how I eliminate, um, you know, me risking a ton of money. So and then the rewards there is um, it can go to as high as it can go. I can make unlimited profit with that particular call option, but I can only lose what I have in there, which is if I pay 500, that's the most I can lose because um, if the call expired, it's going to expire worthless. So that is uh, a way for you to minimize your risk uh, with these uh, higher price stocks. So I actually got a call option of AMC um, right here uh, when it crosses VWAP and then it gapped up. And my price target here was um, I was looking at $60. So it gapped up. And if you can see here, um, I, I mean, I stayed in there until it got to about 60 right here, which is my price target. And I got out out of 60. And, uh, and I got out, if you look here, right, getting out there, stochastic is looking like it's going to cross. So, hey, that was my price target. I wanted to get out and then see uh, so I don't give back some of the profit. But um, as you can see, I got out and it kept gapping all the way to 63 and some change, which kind of pissed me off. But again, I stuck with my strategy. Um, there was opportunities during the day that I could have gone back in, like somewhere here. This would have been a nice in here. Um, I squeeze up, but look at that knife. And then squeeze back up again and then pull back after hours and nothing after hours to just pull back. So that was AMC. Um, yeah, just look at it. Good, good opportunity for for trading. Like I said, this one I did buy call options, and I'm gonna do a video showing you guys how I trade those options. Because again, the reason why I do those is because uh, it minimizes my exposure. Like I said, a hundred shares of AMC at at say fifty dollars a pop is gonna cost you five thousand dollars. If you don't have five thousand dollars to risk. I'll buy I'll, I'll buy one contract, um, which is a hundred shares. That's going to cost me about um, four or five hundred dollars, 
and I can make as much profit as I I can get out of that. Because if you, if you buy one contract, I'd say fifty five. Uh, let's say strike price is um, your strike price could be sixty bucks. So if you move um, five dollars times uh, five hundred, that is five hundred dollars easy that you just made. So that's why I like using those for these higher price stocks. Um, next one that we traded here was uh, uh, G E R N, and this one I think I traded this one after hours. As you can see here, the chart after hours. This thing just exploded. So um, by the time I got, I saw this one, and I was looking like, hey, uh, maybe there's an opportunity here. Um, it, this, this squeeze here had already taken place. So I looking, I was just looking for a bounce off of VWAP, and I was thinking like, hey, because most often than not, this thing will squeeze up and then pull back and then kind of bounce off of VWAP. So that that was my my intentions here going into I kept thinking like hey this bounce off of VWAP is probably gonna probably gonna give me not a, a good opportunity. So right here where it bounced off of VWAP um this green candle right here I bought it unfortunately I actually got it here at about 1.72 um and, you know I was looking for that squeeze to go test this high and potentially uh, break into nine and um, all the way to two dollars. That was my plan. Um, but I got in here. Look at this little. So it, this little pop here to one point seven five, and I kept waiting. Like, hey, this is going to come. And because I don't have a, a stop loss slash take profit, um, this thing quickly pulled back, and I gave it an opportunity to kind of you know consolidate and make a move. It never did pull back below VWAP, and I had to cut my loss. Um, and get out of that one. So that's where I gave some of my money back. And then the other one that I traded to was PTIX. This was another one that I traded after hours. Man, like after hours trading today actually got me gut. I mean, I don't know. So this one again is I, I missed this gap right here. So if you see these three green candles right here, I missed it. So this pullback right here, this is where I, I thought I was gonna get in. So right here, um, I got in here about 3.7, a squeeze up here, and then this movement right here, see the 3.83, it happened so fast. So once I got in, because again, like I said, there's no bracket orders, then I I went in to go put my my uh limit sell order. Um, because I usually put my limit sell order um, higher. So I put my limit sell order at five. And so I was trying to put in my limit sell order. This thing spiked up to 3.83. Um, 3. So I'm like excited, thinking it's going to rip to four. Um, just for me to see the thing turn around and like just flushes. You can see these three flushes right here with no bracket order. I just know it. I had to put in my limit order uh, and then pull it and then put it right here and cut my losses. Um, even though I cut my losses somewhere down here, cause if I knew it was going to bounce back and, and touch VWAP, I should have like put my limit order right there to even reduce uh, the loss that I took. But uh, from here, there was no way for me to, to tell if this thing was going to keep knifing down or it was going to bounce off. But see, it bounced off, touch VWAP, and then flushes. So that's where I give some money back. And again, um, this is a lesson that you guys can learn because, like I said, a lot of people think about trading um, either pre-market or after hours, this is a risky. Um, two things that you want uh, when you want to trade pre-market, number one is that your execution has to be flawless. So once you get in the trade, what you want is you want momentum, you want volume, you want volume coming in like crazy. Because sometimes you go in, even though you can get fill, but when you try to sell, you, you you don't have anybody you know taking if you especially if you're selling to say four five hundred a thousand shares at once so what I notice is if you break it up into chunks of a hundred shares depending on the size or the price of the stock and then you can easily sell that and get out but for you to break that up you need to enter multiple orders let's say if you have a thousand shares you need to enter 10 orders of 100 shares to be able to um, sell and get out which makes it a little bit ever more so difficult to trade um extended hours so that's pre-market and after hours so um yeah that was um yeah that wasn't a good one i mean i'm still salty about it so you can hear my voice um i i made some mistakes for some reason 
I just kept trying and just trying and pushing and trying to see if I can make something happen. Um, I never should have done that. Never should have been in that situation. Um, but it is what it is. And then the other one that I actually jumped in during regular trading hours and got burned to was um, this Vino, V-I-N-O. So this stuff, um, let me bring the charts here so you guys can see. So look at what happened here. This thing uh, gapped really well. So from here, there, I think there was like a halt, came out of the halt um, up here. And look at this retracement. Um, so pull back. Um, consolidated around VWAP, squeeze back up again all the way to testing that high. So um, again, I'm looking at this thing it, right here. This would have been a sweet spot to enter, but I was doing something else. So by the time I came back, this thing was way up here, but I look at the volume and I look at stochastic, it still showed me, it, I felt like there was an opportunity for me to get in. So, and this one, I got in with um, uh, hot keys. In my hot keys, this particular hot key, it wasn't my hot key with, with uh, a bracket order. It was just a hot key to buy. Um, so I bought it right here. And then by the time I went and edited my order to put in my stop loss, um, this thing turned around and flushed on me. Uh, boy, um, like I said, um, I, I was completely off my game um, for some reason. Hopefully this is not a trend because I don't want I don't want this should I want it to stop right there. So uh, I'm gonna be very, very careful with my trades um for the rest of the week and into next week. If the opportunity is not there, I'm not gonna touch it. I'd rather like I would say, like, you know, if if it's not a good trade, I'm not going in. Um no trade is better than a bad trade. So and this is in this case, I never should have taken any of this trade. I took a I took bad trades and end up costing me. So that's that's what it is. So again, guys, if you are new, we have a Discord group that uh, we you know kind of talk in there, share. I post my watch list every morning in that group. Um, so it's free. You can just click the link in the description. Come join us, share ideas, learn from other people that are uh, like you, learning and just trying to understand the whole uh, space of uh, day trading. There's no better way for you to learn how to day trade than to actually be around people that are doing it and asking questions and learning. Um, and again, you might think that, oh, one strategy is the best. No, the best strategy is the one that you figure out what works for you because um, I can give you the tools, but at the end of the day, it's going to be you to decide and break it down and see which things work for you. Some people don't trade pre-market or after hours. Some people don't trade penny stocks, and that would be anything under $10. And so some people only trade options. So there's different flavors out there that you can actually benefit from. And so you come join us, and we we'll talk. There's different uh, channels where you can talk about different topics. So, again, links in the description is absolutely free. Um, that's it for this video, guys. Again, let me know if you do have any comments. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do a separate video on how to trade um, today, trade options for, um, you know, high price stocks, like stocks that are 50, 60, 70 dollars. And you don't have the money because if you buy, let's say you buy five shares of a stock that's uh, 80 dollars, you it goes up two dollars. You're only looking at about 10 dollar profit. So that's really nothing. So I want you to be able to um, see how you can leverage options to make even more money. Again, um, that's something that I'm going to do a separate video on. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If there's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get some free stocks and no cost to you. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.